fans were wilded. And for good reasons. Episode 1 hit and most fans lost their shit. Mappa popped off. I draw Jim Mori, one of the main protagonists, in some fashionably yummy clothes. And I'm talking simp as in God of High School is my Belle Delphine. It's like it's that serious. Also, take a shot every time I say God of High School because there's gonna be a lot. But actually don't do it because you'll get alcohol poisoning and I don't want to be responsible. So let's get into the video. Don't actually take a shot. And before you shit yourself, there's actually going to be no spoilers in this video. I'm going to tell you now why God of High School is in good hands and why it's going to be one of the most hyped shows in 2020. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another drawing video. Today's video is going to be a little different because, well, as you can see, my entire face is visible. But before I get into that, in case you guys haven't seen the title, the video, or the thumbnail, I'm just going to remind you guys that today's video is about God of High School, where I draw Jim Mori, one of the main protagonists, in some fashionably yummy clothes. So, let's get into it. And to just let you guys know, um, whenever I look towards my right hand side, it's actually because I have my monitor there and I have everything that I want to say written down. And I don't want to forget anything that I say or like getting any facts wrong. So that's why I have it up there. So bear with me. And no, just in case anyone thinks that this is a sponsored video, it's not because I only have a hundred subscribers and like half the views from each video is from me alone. So let's get into it. Okay, so the reason why as to why I have my whole entire face visible on screen instead of just my drawing video is because I thought that by having you guys see my face and my expressions, you'll be able to tell just how much of a simp I am for God of High School. And I'm talking simp as in God of High School is my Belle Delphine. Like, it's that serious. And I'm going to tell you why and the whole goddamn history of God of High School pretty much and explain to you why God of High School is going to be the light in 2020. Also, take a shot every time I say God of High School because there's going to be a lot. But actually don't do it because you'll get alcohol poisoning and I don't want to be responsible. So let's get into the video. Don't actually take a shot. And before you shit yourself, there's actually going to be no spoilers in this video. And you want to know why? Because crackhead, one brain cell energy, me, has ascended and realized that I don't have to read the entire webtoon or manga before the anime to review it and actually like the series. So I'm making this whole entire video based on the three episodes that I've watched from the anime. Yeah, a whole video. Let's go. So God of High School is a South Korean webtoon series written and illustrated by a person named Park Kyung Jae, who is now 40 years old as of this year, I think. He's the author of another webtoon as well, known as Sen Norm, or in English, Strongest Fighter. The storyline of this webtoon, which came before God of High School, is actually very similar to it and can be seen as the runner up to what becomes God of High School. The storyline is pretty much about high school kids who learn how to fight and then decide to take down the strongest fighter in the school. Pretty similar. God of High School, which is still ongoing, was first published onto Naval Webtoon on April 8, 2011. It then received its first English translation and was uploaded to Line Webtoon in 2014, three years after its first ever release. And with the series gaining much love and attention, becoming arguably one of the most successful webtoons ever, alongside Tower of God and more, it also received a mobile game adaptation sometime around 2015. But the important thing is, it's got its anime adaptation in July 6, 2020. Hence, only three episodes. Now that we got the formal stuff and some of background history out of the way, I'm going to tell you now why God of High School is in good hands, and why it's going to be one of the most hyped shows in 2020. The series is about Jim Mori and his two friends, Han Dewi and Yu Mira, who are about 17 years old and are high school students. They get invited to join a martial arts tournament known as God of High School, and the winner of the national level fight gets a prize, which is any wish granted. Naturally, this brings in the strongest and toughest fighters in martial arts from all over Korea to join. Now that we know what the series is actually about, let's go back to the point where I said that it got its anime adaptation. When making an adaptation, one of the most important decisions that Park Yong Jae, or whoever had to make the decision, would be answering the question, which studio? There would have been many choices to choose from. Fair of anime or not, it's common knowledge to know that there are many studios out there, and they're all different. And depending on where you decide, and which studio takes up the work, the outcome can become very different to what you initially thought. So, it begs the question, which studio? Studio Bones? The place that created hits like Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood, 
My Hero Academia, or on high school, Mob Psycho 100 and more? Or maybe Madhouse, the studio which created Death Note, first season and arguably the best season of One Punch Man, and also 2011 version of Hunter x Hunter, maybe even Wit Studio, the place which created Attack on Titan. Any one of these choices, and much much more, such as Toei, Sunrise, and A1 Pictures could have been and were probably an option. Any one of these studios would have worked if executed properly, as all the mentioned studios such as Bones, Madhouse, and Wit have experience in creating high-action, fast-paced animations, which God of High School needs. Well, the series got adapted by the studio who created... Yuri on Ice. Yuri on Ice. Now, 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 don't get me wrong, I love Yuri on Ice. I've watched it like three times and once with my high school friend. Like, it was serious deal for me. But you wouldn't think that the studio who creates content like Yuri on Ice would be suitable to create something as raw, action-packed, highly shonen vibes as God of High School. But, is that really true? They've also pumped out other series such as Kakegurui, Banana Fish, and Dororo. All of which have received good feedback and were somewhat liked by the anime community. And while I've only personally watched Kakeguru and not the other two, I can say that Kakeguru was interesting and well animated. But here's the bomb though. You know Attack on Titan? Yeah, you know that high action, fast paced, gore, and really really super loved series? Yeah, apparently this studio is also animating the final season of Attack on Titan, set to premiere sometime end of this year around October. So, it makes us question, which studio exactly is this? And ladies and gentlemen, this studio, this ballsy, did it right, no regret studio, is no other than MAPA. MAPA Studio. Remember way back when I said that this webtoon series is one of the most successful and loved series of arguably all time? Well, you can guess how excited and ready the fans were for the premiere of this anime. Everyone was hyping it up, to the point where those who didn't even read the webtoon swore by it that it was the next holy bible of anime. Like, as if Death Note doesn't exist. Anyway, that's going past the point. The point is, fans were wild in, and for good reasons. Episode 1 hit, and most fans lost their shit, because it was as good as they hoped, or better. Many fans were especially happy with the fight scenes shown in the anime so far, saying MAPPA popped off. Here's a short clip. Yeah, they popped off. The way they animated the flow of each action and movement, the diverse camera angles used to show the characters and how each scene connects to one another, the overall storytelling but just animation alone, it's actually insane. Also, to chime in quickly about the action movements themselves, I'm actually so happy to actually finally watch a series where the fights aren't just about like elemental manipulation, energy bubbles and stuff like that. Like Those are fine, but it's really refreshing to see a series where the fighting is more concentrated on the hand-to-hand -hand combat instead of just supernatural elements, I guess. It's just really new, and I don't know how long it's actually going to continue like this because, again, I've only watched three episodes of the anime and I haven't read the webtoon, so I don't know. But I'm not mad. Like, I thought it would be a bit boring without the supernatural elements, but it's actually quite refreshing, so props to that as well. Anyway, going back to the anime itself, another great thing to pick up on are the moments where they on purpose make a scene silent, and then the moment something badass or exciting happens, they slide a hype background music and sound, like this scene. Chills. Literally chills. It really changes up the whole mood of the scene, pace, and really allows the audience to stay focused on what's happening. 
Marpa's justice doesn't stop there. In a behind-the-story interview uploaded by Crunchyroll, Park Hyung-jae, the author and illustrator of the series, actually tells and explains how throughout the whole production and work-in-progress stages, he gets to see what is exactly happening, how it's being directed, and gets a say in the deciding factors before the episode gets released. And he is extremely satisfied with this, as well as how each episode is coming out. Roll the clip. Definitely, director wanted to stay as faithful as possible without really violating this thing. But at the, at the same time, author was like, well, no, go push it, push it. And remember when I said that the animation was really good in terms of action and how it's really smooth? Well, some scenes were actually shot through motion capture upon the author's request. で、あの、もうちょんキャプチャー撮りたい。で、あれをちゃんとした、あの、鉄拳の動きとか、鉄コンドのアクションとか、それをすごい表現したかったんですね。で、それもすごい、あの、やりたかった理由で一つで大きい
heart right now Cause I know that you want me From the inside out You got me speechless